Today on the channel, it's the return of the Kyle Peterson Top 5, and today we're counting down my Top 5 Surfer Sting figures of all time. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Top 5 list. And today on the channel, we're doing my Top 5 Favorite Surfer Sting, Surfer Sting Figures of All Time. If it's your first time to the channel, well, where have you been? You can tell me now. No, but if it's your first time to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Hit the old notification bell as every single Thursday we are dropping a new Top 5 list. Right now we're in the wrestling headspace, but we can mix it up and do some other things eventually. But we're pounding through a lot of different wrestling figures as we are going on the channel right now. And like I said, today we're doing Surfer Sting. I'm sure we'll do Top 5 Crow Sting one of these days, so be prepared for that as well. And like I said, subscribe to the channel. But Sting, a character of the 90s, 80s, 90s, uh, Surfer Sting, that is, that stole young Kyle's heart and never let go. And I'm sure a lot of you guys out there were little stingers as well. You guys know I love the Ultimate Warrior, but of course I love Sting too. And I remember just reading PWI and the wrestling magazines as a young kid and seeing that Blade Runners picture and saying, oh my gosh, my two favorite Sting and Ultimate Warrior were actually a tag team at one time. This can't be real. This can't be real. But Sting was always... WCW's answer to the Ultimate Warrior, uh, not really, but you guys know what I mean. They kind of ran at the same time. Both had face paints, of course. They both came up together. We're a tag team. So it was a great yin and yang between the two companies, and I loved both of them as a kid. We've talked on the channel, my history with wrestling, how many of my friends, well, they were all WWF. Nobody would watch NWA and WCW. I felt like the lone soldier watching that stuff and talking about my boy Sting out there. I uh, don't quite like him as much as the Warriors, as you guys know, but I do have an extreme soft spot for Surfer Sting. A lot of you guys out there, I almost think there's more people that like Crow Era Sting than Surfer Era Sting, but man, I'm all in on that Surfer Era Sting. Partially because I grew up that way uh, as a kid. He was somebody you looked up to, you rooted for. The bright 90s, colorful colors, stuff like that. I was just all in on Surfer Sting. But you guys in the comments, let me know. Were you a Surfer Sting guy or a Crow Sting guy or gal, of course? And I think a lot of that has to do with your age bracket, I, I'd have to think. And I don't think there's any way he'd go back to the old Surfer Sting days. Uh, he's, I think he's Crow for life now. And it's just crazy to think that the Crow, how much bigger that became than Surfer Sting. I guess I would have never guessed that in a million years, but once again, maybe I had the blinders on. Maybe I had some blinders, but there it is. We're going to count it down, and we're going to do this countdown like we do all the other countdowns. We're going to start at number five and work our way to number one and talk about each figure. So be ready. Let's do it. Get your list together. We're going to start with the Sting Top 5. All right, we're kicking it off at number five with a bit of a sleeper line over the years. And uh, not my favorite, in all honesty. Not a line I really collected back in the day. I dabbled briefly, got out of them, and then in later years, rebuilt my collection and picked them all up. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about the WCW OSFTM figures, original San Francisco toy makers. And of course, Sting was a big part of that. I think Sting had maybe five figures in that line at least, and there was one of them that stole my heart and never let go, and there was a reason for that. And number five on our countdown is Sting OSFTM. Love this Sting. I love what this Sting represents. Uh, these figures are so-so. Are like I said, a, a bit of an LJN-inspired figure. I think that's fair enough. But Sting in this jacket is so iconic. I absolutely loved it. I later on, much later in my collector years, once the internet became a thing and you could search things, I found out they had a WCW Galoob version of this. I've never owned that in my life. I've never owned the orange version of Sting from Galoob either. Uh, one of these days I might finish off that Galoob collection. I probably should. Uh, but there was a Sting version of this in the Galoob, and I would love to have that one. Uh, I'll pick that up, like I said, one day out there. But looking at pictures of both, I definitely do own this, as you can see this one. Uh, this is more of a bigger statue version of that, so I think I like this one a hair better. But boy, if I was growing up, I think if I would have had that original Galoob, it probably would have been in my nostalgia list, and I probably would have picked it. But this one's always been the jacket sting for me. I love the double buy pose on this one, the bright colors with the black and pink. Uh, very Bret Hart-esque, of course. 
but I just love the looks of this figure. And as far as Sting OSFTMs go, I do find this to be the best one of the bunch. As the other ones are, you know, I do have one of them sitting right here. They're, they look like this. Not on the list, but we're just doing it to show. Very cool, very colorful, but uh, I don't know about the pose. Some of these poses on these figures, I don't know. Uh, I guess you could say the same thing about LJNs, Jax, LJNs, that kind of stuff. Uh, but they did many different versions of this thing out there. But this one, being different, being in a jacket, just always stands out. And this one I have displayed. We talked about Lex Luger Top 5 last week. Uh, he catches my eye on that shelf too. I have them kind of displayed together, so maybe that's part of it. Maybe Lex Luger's getting the rub a little bit from Sting. I don't know. But this Galoob, Galoob, WCW OSFTM figure, he is coming in at number five on my top five Stings of all time. All right, we're to the number four spot of Sting figures. Are you keeping track at home? Do you have your list ready to go? Like I said, I want to hear it in the comments. But number four for me was one of the figures that was one of the biggest misses from the Jax Classic Superstars line. And we do a Jax Classic Superstars deep dive video every Tuesday. We'll probably do a big miss video one day of guys that should have been in the line that weren't. Well, Jax did create uh, an issue not having Sting in the Classic Superstars line. But they did right or wrong to some degree. And so number four for me, my favorite Sting figures of all time, Jax Legends of the Ring Sting. Now, different uh, line here. A little bit of a forgotten line, I would say, out there. As a lot of people don't even know this line existed. But once Classic Superstars closed up shop, they went over to TNA. They jumped into a TNA Legends line. And we'll talk about that. I think this will be uh, a part of our Jax Class Superstars videos. We'll go through this whole line because it really is kind of a, a brother-sister thing from that line. It's really the next step in so many ways. And I do have a loose version of this Sting as well. So I might as well bring that out as here. So there it is. Legends of the Ring Sting. Uh, I don't like that they use the Crow Sting picture there. That does drive me a little nuts. But uh, Jax, Classic Superstars, for whatever reason, Sting was not a part of it. I would have loved to have Sting in that Classic Superstars packaging. And I'm so happy they went in the Legends of the Ring. It's the next best, best thing, I guess. I'm so happy they gave us Surfer Sting. Because at this point in time, Surfer Sting figures were truly lacking in the modern day uh, figures. You know, Jax didn't have one. So it's it just modern day Jax Mattel. This really ushered in the future of wrestling figures you know you talk about your wcw osftms your wcw galoobs that was really all we had for sting before this so to get a current scale articulation whatever you want to call it of this was such a big deal for me uh, i just love sting is this the most iconic sting outfit no but it's colorful it's got the blue it's got the orange it's got the surface sting face paint uh, it's a sister line to my jack's classic superstars line that i love so much so I do love this one. And, uh, is this the best uh, figure of all time for Sting? Absolutely not. But it truly is the first modern day, I'm going to call it, Sting figure to come along. And I had to have one loose. Had to have one in package. I got this really cheap uh, shortly after. Th these were very cheap for a long time. This one's even autographed, which not too big of a deal to me. I'm not a big autograph guy, but Sting autographed this with Sharpie. Uh, so there's a little caveat there to this one. But I do love this Sting, and I love what it represents. And that's why he came in at number four in my top five Sting countdown. All right, we're at the halfway point. We're at the number three hole in the Sting Surfer Sting. I gotta always say that Surfer Sting countdown. And number three, we're sticking with Legends of the Ring line. Yes, we are. You've seen this one before on the channel. This was in my patriotic figure top five countdown, and it's got to be in my top five Sting figures of all time as well. Legends of the Ring, Ringside Collectibles exclusive Sting. Uh, very rare figure at this day. Love the packaging on this. We talked about it in that top five patriotic figures, of course. Beautiful packaging all around on this one, uh, as you can see on the back too. Very cool, very stellar packaging here white sting with the white tights uh then really the soft goods jacket just take this thing to the next level just all around great presentation this thing displays perfectly just a beautiful sting figure yes it is jacks akin to the classics ruthless aggression once again i know those aren't for everybody but you guys know i love it i love classic superstars loved into the legends of the ring and uh, that's what this thing represents. And then once again, it's a very rare ringside collectibles exclusive. This is one of those figures that's on my long, long game to get a loose version of, as I'd really love to have a loose version of this one with just the cool soft goods entrance jacket and everything else. So there it is, the Jax Legends of the Ring Sting Ringside Collectibles exclusive coming in at number three.
All right, we're getting down to the end of it. Where's your list? Are you tracking along? Are you guessing my list? Uh, you guys let me know in the comments below, but we're at the number two spot. The top two. There's a thin line between one and two. I had to sleep on it. You guys know I usually make these lists, sleep on it at night, and then make some changes if I have to. Uh, but this one, uh, pretty much one and two stayed the same from the get-go, and I guess that happens sometimes. But number two is... I wouldn't say a sleeper, but I would say it's one a lot of collectors have in this day and age. And this is probably a lot of people's favorite Surfer Sting figure of all time. I couldn't uh, argue with you if it's your case. Like I said, this is my list. Uh, this very well could be your number one. And what are we talking about? Defining moments from Mattel. Sting, Great American Bash. This was on my top five patriotic figures of all time. The moment this represents is truly magical. Uh, probably the height of my Sting fandom right here. Of course, you guys know I do have a loose one of this one as well. There's Sting. I uh, absolutely love this figure. Of course I do. I love Sting, as you guys know. Uh, but just him winning the title finally for the first time. The champagne at the end. Coming back from the injury. His friend Robocop uh, along the way. Him joining the Horseman, getting kicked out of the Horseman. Just everything that led up to this moment truly is a defining moment, truly is a defining uh, look to Surfer Sting. I gotta say, one of the most, if not the most iconic Surfer Sting look, uh, just to what it all represents and all that kind of fun stuff there. So, uh, like I said, I do feel a lot of you guys will probably have this at number one, uh, but I will say this, I don't feel Mattel made a definite Surfer Sting ever. Maybe that's just me. Uh, we had a few different ones. We had some basics. We had a two-pack with Undertaker. I think there was a Fan Central. Uh, we did have that three-pack Mattel uh, with the Bash of the Beach one. Um, what else did we have? We had the white and uh, kind of green uh, uh, elite figure as well. So we had a few things out there, but something was just missing in the Mattel lineup of Sting. I, f I still feel like there could be a new Surfer Sting figure, and it could jump to the top of my list one of these days, uh, really close to the top of my list. I just don't think anything has hit the mark 100% where I want it to. Yeah, that's an interesting topic. You guys can let me know. If you kind of feel that way, I feel like the crow sting, we had the defining moment crow sting. I think that is the defining crow sting for the most part. Uh, you know, there's been a lot of good crow stings, and I think there's going to be a lot more crow stings when things are all said and done and the history of his figures are over. Uh, the surfer sting is going to be the one kind of left in the dust, which just seems absolutely crazy, but I think that's the way it's going to go, and it tells you how popular the crow persona is over the surfer sting persona. But I still feel like Mattel, hopefully AEW, now that they're making sting figures, hopefully they go back and make us a defining surfer sting figure. Maybe it'll happen, maybe it won't. But uh, as of right now, this is probably the greatest Mattel Surfer Sting that's ever been released in my book. Uh, but he came in at number two for me. What came in at number one? Well, stick around and find out. All right, here we are. We're at the number one slot. You guys in the comments, uh, you guys, make sure you put your list in there. Put it at number five to number one. I always say that's the challenging thing. It's easy to rattle off five Surfer Sting figures or whatever, but putting them in order is the challenging part. So make sure you put them in order in the comments. Love to see where you guys net out at. Uh, were you similar to my list? Were you different than my list? You guys let me know in the comments, of course. But number one, probably not a surprise to most people that know me and follow the channel. Uh, you guys know my nostalgia glasses are very thick. And I love nostalgia. I'm always nostalgic for the toys I had as a kid. And uh, this one is no different. This is the first Sting figure I ever owned, right? Saying that, you probably know where I'm going. But I remember the day walking into KB Toys, seeing this on the shelves and just like uh, the heavenly gates opening up. Just one of those toy moments. And especially back in these days when there was no internet, we didn't know these things were coming out. You just show up, you're looking for your Hasbros and all of a sudden here's a whole new line. Here it is. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. I can't believe I'm gonna own this. And so many hours I played with this figure. And what figure am I talking about? You probably already know. We're talking Galoob. WCW Galoob Surfer Sting. The most iconic Sting figure by far for me. There was no doubt uh, this was going to be number one. Like I said, that Great American Bash Mattel one was good. I thought, hey, I'll sleep on it. I'll see. And I still felt the same way. This Surfer Sting, everything I wanted as a kid. I know some people say, oh, the articulation, that kind of stuff. But we didn't know any different as a kid back then. You got what you got. I would mix this with my Hasbro figures in my playing days. I had no problems mixing those two together. Sting and Warrior reuniting 
epic battles with Ric Flair and the Four Horsemen with this WCW set. Just so iconic to me. This is Surfer Sting. I say it all the time in these top five videos. If I close my eyes and I picture Sting, Surfer Sting, this is what I picture. Uh, there was another version of this in orange tights. I've never owned that. One of these days i got to pick that up, much like the one in the ring jacket. Uh, but this blue one, I wish we could get AEW or Mattel, probably AEW at this point, Give us an, an elite, unrivaled, unmatched, whatever we want. Give us this same outfit. Give us this upgraded into 2021, 2022 standards, whatever it would be. Give us that same figure moved into the future. I think that would be awesome to collectors like me that have been around a long time. I think it would be really cool for people that need a Surfer Sting. It would be a cool way to kick off a new generation of Surfer Sting figures. Because we know we're going to get a ton of Crow Sting figures in the Jazzwares line. Give us one of these, but give us the nostalgia. Give us a modern-day WCW Galoob. Put it in the package the same way. How cool would that be? Maybe go all in as a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive or a toy exclusive or something like that. But just give us this in modern-day form. This is my sting. This is the sting that uh, stole my heart and never let go after all these years. And that is why he is number one in my top five sting figures of all time. But what say you? What is your favorite sting figures of all time? Like I said, put them down in the comments. you got to put it from number five to number one. Put them in order. It's always tougher that way, uh, but you'll figure out who you really like. And we're talking just Surfer Sting here, as you guys know. But uh, please give me a comment below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Put the old notifications on. Like I said, every Thursday, we're doing a different top five countdown. We're doing weekly purchases on Saturday, figure hunts on Friday. Tuesday, the Jax Classic Superstars deep dive. We've been going a year strong on that. Still got a long ways to go. And then the rest of the time, we flush it out with all kinds of reviews of everything under the sun, as you guys are aware of. So like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram. And of course, ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson. So for the top five surfer sting figures of all time, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.